Welcome back to AWS Cloud Services series. In today's session, we are going to talk about AWS EC2 SDK for Java. We will be fetching EC2 instances by SDK provided for Java. For this, we will be creating a access key on AWS portal. And after that, we are going to create an application in the STS store. And in that application, with the help of EC2 SDK dependency, we are going to fetch instances from AWS. Let's start for hands-on. Let's open this Spring Tool Suite 4. To create a new application in Maven, right-click on this Package Explorer. In New, you will find Spring Starter Project. Give a name for your project. I have given AWS SDK test and the Java version will be 8 and type will be Maven. Click on next. Here we will be in need of web dependency that is Spring Web. Select it. Click on next and finish. Now you can see the project has been created. Expand it and open pom.xml file. So before going for code, we will need a dependency that will help you to fetch EC2 instances from AWS. Let's have that dependency. So this is AWS Java entire SDK dependency. In this session, we are not going to see all the services from AWS. We will be focusing on EC2 service. So only change on this line will be hyphen EC2. Now save this form.xml. As soon as you save this form.xml, it will start downloading all the jars which are under this SDK EC2 dependency. Now open SSU main Java. In this package, open this main class file. So before going for code, we will be need of access key. For creating an access key, we need to log in on our AWS portal. Now search for IAM service. Select the IAM service. Now go to users. Here I have only one user currently. So click on this one. Select this user. Go to this security credentials. Scroll down. Here you will find the access key section and there is a button to create the access key. Click on create access key. Here you can see the warning it has given that never post your secret access key on the public platform like GitHub and all. Make sure you don't share your access key and the secret access key to anyone else. In the case of you download .csv file, keep it in safe location and don't share it with anyone else. You can also see the secret access key by clicking on show. Copy this both parameters temporarily on your notepad. Now you can close this prompt. So in this application, we are going to fetch EC2 instance. If you don't have any instance running, go and create your EC2 instance. For this, I'm going to click on EC2. Here you can see I don't have any instance running currently. So click on instances. Click on launch instances. I'm going to give the name for this instance my instance i'm going to select the amazon linux as ami that is free tier eligible and t2 micro will be my instance type i'm going to create a new key pair for this instance for now i'm going to select ppk type give a name for key pair common key create key pair the key pair will be downloaded on your local. Now scroll down and you can launch instance. Click on view all instances. As you can see, our instance is in running state. 
now come back to your STS first we need to create basic AWS credentials with the help of the access key AWS here you can see the constructor is accepting access key and secret key as a parameter so place those access key and secret key we have copied from our AWS console after that we need to create Amazon EC2 object now here Amazon EC2 client will help you to get that object we are going to pass AWS credentials with it so dot builder we also need to select a region with it type with region so currently I'm using AP South 1 region keep it in this parameter here we need to pass credentials so dot with credentials you can see so here you can pass AWS static credentials provider I have new AWS static credentials provider here you can pass our basic AWS credential object and here you can end with build now we are going to fetch instances which are running so for that we need to create filter select which is under EC2 model create an object of filter is equal to new filter to set value for filter you filter dot set name here you can give attribute instant state name and next we have to set a value for this name so it will be with value and it would be running you can create as many as filters you want and all these filters will be added in a filters collection for this we need to create collection of filter is equal to new array list and in this collection you have to add all this filter you have created earlier filter start and here you have to create describe instance request request is equal to new describe instance request and with this request object we have to set filter now here you have to create describe instance result to get a response from the request result equal to ec2 service dot describe instance with the request as a parameter that we have created earlier the describe result will return you the reservation the list of reservation you can say for this you have to create a for loop reservation colon result dot get reservations in reservation also you will find get instances for this one also you need to have a for loop for this you have to create instance object is instance colon reservation get instances if you do this out here running instances it will show you on the result instance dot get instance id will be fine to cross check that's it now if you run this program right click on this class file and go to run as 
and click on Java application. It will start its web application and here you can see our instance ID. To cross check this instance ID on AWS, go to your AWS. Remember this ends with 978. Here you can see the same ID. Earlier we have created the instance which has the same instance ID which ends with 978. This is how easy to use AWS Java SDK. There are many services we are going to cover in upcoming sessions. That's it for this video. If this video helped you to understand AWS SDKs, subscribe my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends.